On this tape, I want to talk about sensory problems in autism. When I was a child, I had all the standard symptoms of autism, screaming, uh, no one couldn't stand to be touched, uh, couldn't stand when people hugged me, constant tantrums, and no language. I mean, not being able to talk was very frustrating. But one of the things that a lot of people neglect in autism is the sensory problems. Problems with things like sensitivity to hearing. Another problem that autistic children have is they're very slow to shift attention. You know, normal people will shift attention in, you know, just a few milliseconds. But an autistic person may take a full second to shift attention. Now, one of the problems I had as a kid was hearing sensitivity. You know, when a school bell went off, that hurt my ears. The thing is, is that there's all different levels of sensory problems in autism. They range from very, very mild to extremely severe. My problems were relatively mild. The school bell hurt my ears. But in a child with more severe sensory problems, grabbing their chin may cause the sensory system to overload and shut down. Because some children are mono-channel. They cannot see and hear at the same time. They either have to look at something or they have to hear something, but they cannot do both together. Some of them get sensory jumbling and mixing. Some of them have body boundary problems. They're not able to figure out where a table begins and, they, and their hand uh, starts. These children, you've got to use a much more gentle approach. Thank you.